Hi again, this is Pink Point. In this video, I will show you how to convert decimal numbers into binary numbers using two different methods. Decimal number is a base 10 number system which uses 10 digits from 0 to 9. While a binary is a base 2 number system which uses 2 digits only which is 0 and 1. For our first two examples, we will be using the repeated find and subtract method. So for our first example, we will convert 57 decimal into a binary. First, we are going to write the power of two table or the binary table starting from right to left. So we have 2 raised to 0 is equal to 1. 2 raised to 1 is equal to 2. 2 raised to 2 is equal to 4. 2 raised to 3 is equal to 8. 2 raised to 4 is equal to 16. 2 raised to 5 is equal to 32. And 2 raised to 6 is equal to 64. But we don't need to go further to 64 or we don't need 64. Because 64 already exceeds 50. Seven. The next is to look for a number from this table to make 57. Starting from the left side of this table, we are looking for the biggest number which is less than or equal to 57. So we have 32. Then we will subtract 32 from 57. So we have 57 minus 32 is equal to 25 then we will find another number which is less than or equal to 25 so we have 16 then we will subtract 16 from 25 so we have 25 minus 16 is equal to 9 then find another number which is less than or equal to 9 so we have 8, then subtract 8 from 9. So we have 9 minus 8 is equal to 1. And again, find another number which is less than or equal to 1. So we have 1, then subtract 1 from 1. We have 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Then we stop until we get 0. So to get 57, we have 32 plus 16 plus 8 in plus 1. Then make sure these numbers on the right add up or equal to this number. So to get 57, we have 32. So we put 1 under 32. We also have 16. Then we have 8. So we put 1 under 8. We don't have 4, so we put 0 under 4. We don't have 2, so we put 0 under 2. And we do have 1, so we put 1 under 1. So we have 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 as the binary equivalent of 57 decimal. For our second example, we will convert 250 decimal into a binary. So the first step is to write the power of two table or the binary table starting from the right to left. So we have 2 raised to 0 is equal to 1. 2 raised to 1 is equal to 2. 2 raised to 2 is equal to 4. If you notice guys, we're just doubling the number. So from 1, then 2, then 2 times 2 is equal to 4, 
Then 4 times 2 is equal to 8. 8 times 2 is equal to 16. Then after 16 is 32. After 32 is 64. Then 1, 2, 8. And 2, 5, 6. But we don't have to go farther to 256 because 256 exceeds 250. The next step is to find and subtract. So the largest number from this table, which is less than or equal to 250, is 128. Then we will subtract 128 from 250. So 250 minus 128 is equal to 122. Then we will find the largest number from this table, which is less than or equal to 122. We have 64. Then we will subtract 64 from 122. So 122 minus 64 is equal to 58. Next, find another number which is less than or equal to 58. So we have 32. Then subtract 32 from 58. So we have 58 minus 32 is equal to 26. Then find another number which is less than or equal to 26. So we have 16. Then subtract 16 from 26. So we have 26 minus 16 is equal to 10. Then find another number which is less than or equal to 10. We have 8. Then subtract 8 from 10. So we have 10 minus 8 is equal to 2. Then find another number which is less than or equal to 2. We have 2. Then subtract 2 from 2. 2 minus 2. The answer is 0. Then we stop until we get 0. To get 250, we have 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 and plus 2. Then make sure these numbers on the right is equal to this number on the left. So to get 250, we have 128. So we put 1 under 128. We have 64 and 32. So they are both 1s. 16 and 8. So 1 and 1. We don't have 4. So this is 0. We do have 2. So this is 1. And we don't have 1. So this is 0. So the binary equivalent of 250 decimal is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. So that's how you are going to convert decimal numbers into binary numbers using the repeated find and subtract method. And for the second method, we will be using the successive division. And we will convert the same numbers that we did on the first method. And with that, we can confirm our answers from the first method. So in our first example, we had 57 decimal and we got 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 as the binary equivalent. So we are going to divide 57 by 2 repeatedly. So we have 57 divided by 2. Okay. 57 divided by 2. 5 divided by 2, we have 2. 2 times 2, we have 4. 
So 5 minus 4 is equal to 1 and bring down 7. 17 divided by 2 is equal to 8. 8 times 2 is equal to 16. And 17 minus 16 is 1. So we have 28 remainder 1. 28 remainder 1. Next, 28 divided by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Bring down 8. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. And remainder 0. 28 divided by 2 is exactly 14. 0 remainder. Next, 14 divided by 2 is equal to exactly 7. 0 remainder. Then 7 divided by 2 is equal to 3 remainder 1. 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1 remainder 1 and 1 divided by 2 is equal to 0 remainder 1 then we stop until we get 0 then at the bottom we have the MSB or the most significant bit and the top we have the LSB or the least significant bit and the way you read this one is from the most significant bit to the least significant bit or from bottom to top so we have one 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 zero zero one zero zero one and we get the same answer and for our second example we will convert 250 decimal into binary from the first method we have one 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 zero one zero as the binary equivalent of 250 then we will try Successive division if we still get the same answer. So 250 divided by 2 is equal to exactly 125 remainder 0. 125 divided by 2 is equal to 62 remainder 1. 62 divided by 2 is equal to 31 remainder 0. 31 divided by 2 is equal to 15 remainder 1 15 divided by 2 is equal to 7 remainder 1 7 divided by 2 is equal to 3 remainder 1 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1 remainder 1 and 1 divided by 2 is equal to 0 remainder 1 then we stop until we get 0. Then at the bottom, you have the MSB or the most significant bit. At the top, you have the LSB or the least significant bit. And the way you read this one is from the most significant bit to the least significant bit or from bottom to top. So we have 111. One one zero one zero and we still get the same answer. So the binary value of two hundred fifty decimal is one 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 zero one zero. So that's how we convert decimal numbers into binary numbers using the successive division method thank you for watching and please don't forget to like comment share subscribe 
and hit the notification bell icon so you'll be notified on my next video.